Good morning, everyone. It's Maria Desnati, and we are doing something for the next seven days called the Back to School Roundup. You're going to be hearing from myself and a team member of Empowering Kids with Character, NJ Radner. I don't, I just, that just came out weird, NJ. And we are both going to be talking about a specific theme for the next seven days each day to help you get ready to going back to school. So today we're talking about clothing. And my greatest tip for you is between now and back to school, set aside a little bit of time to go through your children's drawers. Now, this can be a really big undertaking, but for example, I'm not going to go through their, um, you know, like swimsuits right now because we're moving into the fall season. So my main concern is what do my children have for the fall and winter, specifically the fall, and what do they need right now? So I like to have um, our children are ages five, seven, and 10. I like to have the kids sort their socks. So we will do this together. I'll put some music on. They'll go ahead and take their sock bin and they'll do matches. And any socks that don't have matches, they're gonna live in my laundry room for the next week. So when I'm doing laundry, I'm gonna see if we can match up those socks. Otherwise, they're getting tossed into either to use for um, rags or what have you, right? Or recycle them. Um, next, have the kids go through their own underwear. They can decide what still works, what doesn't. Then I'm just going through the, um, the clothing to see what doesn't fit them anymore. And I'm going to have a bag that is for donations. I'm going to also have a bag for hand-me-downs. So for my, you know, uh, my 10-year-old, what doesn't fit her, I'm going to put it in the hand-me-down bag so I can save it for my other daughter. Otherwise, if maybe it's something that I don't think my other daughter would like, or maybe it's just a, a, not a good fit for her body type, I'll put it in the donation pile, right? So my goal for you is to just go through their clothing, get rid of their things that don't fit them. And I like to take something like a set of clothing, maybe a pair of leggings or and like a t-shirt and a pair of underwear and socks, put it in a gallon Ziploc baggie and stick it in your kid's backpack. And I usually do this for like kindergarten and first graders, preschool, kindergarten, and first graders, so that they have an extra set of clothing. Your teacher might actually, you know, recommend this, but your kids to have an extra set of clothing in case they have accidents at school. And when I'm talking about accidents at school, I'm not saying they wet their pants. That could be one type of accident, but more likely I'm talking about going out at recess and having fun and getting, you know, really wet. And so then they have an extra change of clothing. So your goal from me today is to go through your children's clothing and take out what doesn't fit them anymore and donate it or um, put it in a hand-me-down pile. And you can also incorporate your children into helping you sort socks and underwear. Put an extra set of clothing in a gallon Ziploc bag for their backpacks. So each day this week, you're going to hear from NJ later on today, and she's got a really great um, tip for you. And then tomorrow, we're going to be talking in this back to school roundup. We will be talking about routines tomorrow. So go ahead and chime in if you have anything uh, to add as far as clothing goes. Um, I know a lot of families go back to school shopping, their first day outfits, what have you. Comment below if you have any tips, hacks to add to our back to school roundup talking about clothing today. See you tomorrow.